Let's review another major feature of Intuity 15.5, the introduction of a new RESTful API. This feature enables customers to automate and easily link workflow systems with their network monitoring system. Intuity's RESTful API delivers a modern approach to performing administrative tasks, either for a single server or across multi-server environments. This can be useful for organizations with large networks looking to automate regular maintenance tasks in the NOC, or for MSPs needing to automate operations such as taking a new customer and their devices under management. Let's review a couple of the concepts of how the API can be used. In my environment, I have a number of devices under management. I also have curl installed on a Linux server, and I'll use this and an XML definition as my method to add a new device to my managed inventory. Let's look at the XML definition that I'm using to add the device. This curl command includes all of the definitions and parameters that I need in order to bring a device under management. I've included the community string, IP address, the level of management, and the IP version for the device. In addition, I'm specifying a display name type. I'm actually going to be displaying the name of the device using its IP address. So let's run this command. You can see that I've got the device queued. And when I go back to the Intuity web interface, you can see that I now have the device under management. And the device name is actually using the IP address, just like I had specified in the API. Now, to be consistent with the rest of my infrastructure, I'd like to change the name of this device and actually apply a custom name to it. And we're going to do that again using the API. The first step to making a name change is to find the ID of the device that was just added. I'm going to use this command in order to identify the inventory, and I'm, and I'm going to grep for the IP address of the device. I can see the ID of the device is 34, and I'm going to use that ID in order to make the change in the display name. I've inserted 34 as the ID of my device, and I'm going to run this command in order to change the display type from IP address to custom, and I'm going to identify and set the custom name to Sao Paulo switch. Going back to the web UI, I can now see that I've changed the display type to custom and set the device name to Sao Paulo switch. In my next example, let's use the API to create a new view containing all of the routers and switches for my customers in North and South America. The command to do this is shown here and includes the parameters needed to create and populate the view. The view core infrastructure will be created using a domain filter, routers, and switches to limit the scope of devices included in the view. A view aggregation technique new in 15.5 is used so that I can easily create a union of views from the Brazil customer, Minnesota customer, and Texas customer views. Let's create the view and see what it looks like in the web UI. The new core infrastructure view is shown here, along with all of the routers and switches for my customers in North and South America. These are just a sample of the capabilities included in the current API. To see a full list of commands, just search for RESTful in the Intuity Online Help.